What up, Bad Fanatics? On it here, back with some more flesh and blood content. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon up here in the Pacific Northwest, and what am I doing? I'm inside, about to prepare for my last pre-release of the weekend. Uh, I figured I'd spontaneously record this and bring you guys along for the ride and just share my initial thoughts and impressions on my pre-release uh, sealed experience so far. So, uh... Yeah, with all that being said, let's just get to cracking some Monarch Packs. Um, put those over here. Light in the dark. See what we have. Woo! First and foremost, man. The art on these cards. Obviously, the cards were spoiled, but seeing them in person, uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Woo! It's been, it's been a hell of a weekend just checking out the art, so... I'm going to go through and just kind of organize the cards pretty quickly and then we can go through class by class and uh, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and um, suggestions in the comments below. This is for a casual um, kind of at-home pre-release. There's no structure around it. So uh, yeah, that's why I thought I should record it. Um, so we're going to go Rune Blades. So what I've been doing is putting all Rune Blades and Shadow Rune Blades in a pile, all Brutes and Shadow Brutes in a pile. Same thing with Light Illusionist and Illusionist and Light Warrior and Warrior. And then a Shadow Pile, a Light Pile, and a Generic Pile. So uh, I think I'm going to continue on with that trajectory here. It seemed to work out for me pretty well in the previous pre-releases. Generic's over here. Shadow Instant. Generic. There we go. Our first Rainbow, Fo or Rainbow Foil is a Writhing Beast Hulk. A rare uh, Shadow Brute. Time Skippers, Generic Equipment. This is actually my first Time Skippers. I've not actually pulled it in a pre-release and have, um, haven't been able to use it. So that might be uh, something that we put in this deck. We'll see. Warrior. Um, and then a Generic Captain's Call. And then our token, of course. We'll alternate Light and Shadow Packs. How about that? Yeah, also, please do share in the comments below what your experiences have been so far, what your big pulls have been. I pulled a couple cold foil iron rot helms in two different um, pre-releases and then a, uh, a majestic rainbow foil. Uh, what's the generic that dominates? Totally drawing a blank on the card right now. Do do do. Totally spacing on the card. It's been a long, it's been a long, long weekend. Nourishing emptiness. That's what it was. Nourishing emptiness. More brute. Rune blade. Brute. Illusionist. Oh, we got warrior. Illusionist warrior. There we go. Now we got it all straightened out. Stony Warthog, or Wanton Hog has been putting in work busting Phantasms for me. This is definitely the generic six attack that has been busting up Phantasms all weekend. I don't know about you guys, but Minimalism, Red too, Surging Militia, Void Wraith, Ghostly Visit, uh, Lunar Tide Plunderer, Blue for the Shadow Action. Gallantry Gold, Warrior Equipment, very nice. Vexing Malice, Rune Blade. There we go, bam, I just was speaking of it. Nourishing Emptiness, once again, the Majestic Generic. Um, I actually was able to draw into this um, in my first hand in back-to-back -back games. I did learn my lesson thinking, oh, I'm going to come back. I, I, I played second, uh, I went second um, in my second game and like not thinking correctly i blocked with a couple attack action cards thinking that i was going to turn around and come back with nourishing emptiness realizing that i put attack action cards into my graveyard which nullifies its abilities um yeah so friday night i played prism saturday yesterday i played uh bolton and yesterday night i played chain um, and I'm, it's not that I'm just trying to go through each. I feel like I played to the p card pool's strongest class, Shadow Brute. And I must say, I really struggled uh, with Chain last night. I had a lot of blood debt. I had uh, about a 40 card deck that I was running. Um, and I felt like it was powerful and I had the things to do it. Um, 
and it just uh, I ended up going 0 and 3. But I was also going against some pretty strong competition. Um, Dice Commando Andrew actually recorded some games, so hopefully uh, he'll be posting some of those games here soon. Um, but yeah, I really struggled with Chain. I, I probably had the most fun so far playing Prism Illuminate, Light Action. There's some light actions. Blinding Beam, Frontline Scout, Piercing Shadow Vice, Iron Hide Legs, Vexing Malice, another Room Blade, and Prismatic Shield, Illuminous, or uh, Illusionist. Halfway through, you got a Majestic, um, some pretty nice generics, obviously. Um, I don't know. I, there's nothing really standing out to me right now as far as what's one stronger than the other. Uh, might possibly be leaning Rune Blade halfway through. But. Uh, I have to say, though, um, this set definitely takes the complexity of play up a notch. Like, my head was hurting last night after playing. Um, you know monarch all day because of the extra mechanics and the extra things that we have to account for now um yeah it's definitely a step up in complexity from welcome to wraith arcane rising crucible of war legacy era or whatever we're calling it these days <laughs> enigma chimera courageous steel hand herald of tenacity zell spelting see here ghostly visit is shadow action brandish red Blinding Beam, putting in good work for both Warrior and Illusionist, but really good in Illusionist, protecting the Phantasms. Ray of Hope, we, of course we got the Cold Foil there. I found that um, yeah, it's definitely a sideboard card. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely a sideboard card. I learned on Friday not to keep it in against other light heroes. <laughs> uh, Warmonger's Recital, Common Foil. Iron Ride Helm. And Rise Above and Writhing Beast Hulk is a Shadow Brute action. All right, so there's that. Another token. Two more packs. Uh, I mean, I, obviously we hit the Nourishing Emptiness, but nothing really spicy so far. Shadow Rune Blade again. Brute. Rune Blade. Warrior. Illusionist. Warrior. Generic. Shadow Light, Shadow Adrenaline Rush, Courageous Steel Hand, Rainbow Foil Common, Red. All right, Iron Hide Legs. We already got that piece, but Glisten, Light Instant, and Ode to Wrath, Illusionist, and Token. Final pack. Kind of underwhelming, underwhelming, uh, Sealed kit here so far. Maybe the last pack will save us. Maybe, maybe not. Light Warrior, Illusionist. Light Warrior, Blood Tribute, Shadow Instant, Memorial Ground, Illuminate, Light Action, Minoism, Celis Belting. Here we go. Our Foil Rare, Dimensional Gateway, Iron Hide Gauntlet. So now we have the Gauntlet the helm and the legs parable of humility and a seek horizon red well that was a kind of an underwhelming opening i definitely feel like i don't we'll go through the classes real quick here bolt of courage of course allows us to charge bolton we don't want as many of those uh, cards in bolton's deck to be able to charge him up because if you've experienced Bolton so far this weekend, he doesn't really do much if you can't charge him and if he doesn't have anything in the soul. If you charged, if you charged, there's another two. If you charged, three, four, five, six. Double check our light cards here. That's the counters. Yeah, I'm going to initially say just uh, not even really diving too deep into the class cards. We only have six cards that allow us to charge Bolton. And uh, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it in uh, a Bolton deck. So I pretty much just uh, 
again, this is just my opinion. Warriors out simply because we don't have enough uh, abilities and cards to be able to charge Volton. Um, we do have quite a few warrior cards though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, equipments take that up, so 12. And then Illusionist here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Of course, with the Illusionists, you want those... Uh, I found that the, getting the this like pillar parable of humility, these auras that cost four. Um, I on Friday night, of course, it was my first time playing Prism, but I I struggled with trying to get those on the board and get them to stick. So, Herald of Tenacity is of course of course there's another one, the Ode to Wrath, Herald of Protection, Herald of Tenacity again, Yellows. So I guess a bunch of yellow pitches. We know light the light heroes do have a bunch of yellow pitch cards when it comes to their majestics. Again, I really don't feel um, Herald, create a spectral shield. To, uh, yeah, you know, again, I'm feeling the same thing with Illusionist here. Is There's just not my initial feelings is there's just not enough cards, you know what I mean, to uh, get, put it in the soul, put it in the soul, maybe two, Phantasm, three, four five six again six cards i just i don't think that's enough mm -hmm. yeah looking at the light i don't think we have the, the power that we need in either of the light classes to be able to get cards into their souls to be able to either make spectral shields or to be able to pop off um, with bolton and be able to give attacks and our weapons go again so uh, let's head over to the dark side and see what we have in Brute. Uh, otherworldly Bellow, or Unworldly Bellow, Hungering Slaughter Beast. The, I must say, the Brute cards, the Shadow Brute cards are just, boy, monstrous and gory and just, um, yeah, they took it up, the, they took uh, the Shadow Brute uh, imagery up a whole notch from... What was already a pretty, pretty uh, brutal and you know, gory uh, uh, class in brute. So, quite a few of these unworldly bellows. It's an additional cost to play unworldly bellow. Banish three random cards from your graveyard. It's an expensive cost to get that plus three, but you do want to be banishing cards, of course. Blood debt. Two blood debts. Three, four. Of course, Blood Dead is an important part of the Shadow class. Um, the more you have, the better. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Blood Dead cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just not really seeing one, two, three, four, four sixes attack brute cards. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling the same way about Brute right now. You're just like, do, do we do we even really have the have the oomph to uh, to make this work? My gut feeling is no Brute as well, which would leave Chain and Rune Blade. Let's look at what we got here. Rifting Torments, Blood Debt, Blood Debt. I think I had like, uh, I think it was like 15, 14 or 15 blood deck cards in my chain build last night uh, out of a 40 card deck. Um, I don't, I definitely don't think that's enough um, to make chain work because I missed quite a few times on my blood deck and deck myself out in a couple of games. Six, seven, eight. Man, this is a really poor opening i'm gonna have to say I, i'm just gonna leave it there guys <laughs> like I, I don't even really know what direction that i would want to head this is not the intention that i wanted with this video but you know and honestly like pre-release like the sealed kits have been hit and miss and i've i definitely feel like i've missed more than i've hit this weekend i've had a blast playing monarch um, it's been extremely challenging, but I just haven't felt like there's ever been 
a real class that's absolutely stood out to me. And, and granted, that's the parody of opening the packs and how they have things, you know, how they have things organized when it comes to the the card order and sortment, sort, sort, you know, sorting. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of stumped right now with what I would do. Um, tell me what you would do in your thoughts below. Uh, again, I don't think we have enough cards to really make either the light warrior or light uh, illusionist work to get cards into their souls um, in order to activate their abilities. Brute, we only had five uh, six attack cards. Uh, and I think it was like eight blood deck cards, if that. Um, looking at the shadow... Five more, five more shadow cards that would add to the blood debt for either chain or uh, Leviah. Yeah, I'm stumped. I'm just gonna end it there. Um, just kind of a spontaneous video, uh, just to go to show you this is this is not as easy as uh, it's not as easy as you think to put to get, put a put a sealed deck together. I, I think I would have to lean towards, if I have to make a choice right now, I would hate to say it, like, but I think I would go, I'd have to go with Bolton, you know, uh, with some, with some of the generics, just because there's not as much downside in playing the light warrior or the light heroes versus the shadow heroes as I've experienced. There's a lot of downside to not having the pieces, uh, in shadow. Um, you know, you can still do things with light if, you know not as powerful but so yeah my gut feeling after looking at all the all these cards i w i'm gonna go probably with with warrior so uh yeah thanks for watching again spontaneous video hope everybody is enjoying their pre-release weekend uh be nice to to each other and um yeah plant those seeds of fab Venge friendship uh the future of fab is bright i'm excited to contribute to the community and the secondary market and yeah until the next time, y'all, take care. On it out.